Hi there, I'm reviewing the Pilot Hi-Tech C Kalito Multicolor Pen. When you buy the pen itself, it's empty. I've seen them in two color, three color, four color, and five color capacities, which of course get girthier the more colors you have, and they all cost only a few US dollars. I have two four color versions here, and as you see, they're rather different. The many varieties and colors of the pen itself allows the Kalito to be styled for students, for the office, or simply for your personal taste. These are found in just about every stationery store here in Taiwan, with dozens of refill colors like this on display. A note when you buy one, make sure the nub of plastic is still in place on the end to ensure that it hasn't dried out. You insert the refills like this with the thumb knob facing out. Refills are really cheap here, only about 75 US cents. Although looking online, they seem to be about $1.80 each in US online retailers. When all of your refills are inserted, they are nicely color coded and easy to see. This one has a different shape because it's a special neon color series of inks. There is also a metallic ink series and a series of pastel colors. The line width is displayed on the end there. They oddly come in three very close sizes, 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5 millimeter widths. The line difference can be seen, but it's not drastic. I'd prefer it if they had 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7 widths for a a definite fine medium and bold that you could really tell apart. Perhaps this ink can be engineered to flow well with a 0.7 tip in a slim cartridge like this. I'm not sure. I do know that a 0.7 millimeter would disappear rather quickly. That's another minor drawback to these pens. These are gel pens and not ballpoints. So although the flow is nice and consistent, the inks in these thin refills get used up quickly. However, that kind of feeds the addiction to these pens, because when it's empty, you get to go out and buy another one of the many, many color varieties to try. The clips on these feel flimsy, which I don't like, but I haven't had one break, so they still function well enough. Refills are done through the top, but you can disassemble the barrel if you ever need to. Let's talk about how it writes. I've had little to no problems with a steady line. That's a huge advantage over skippy ballpoints. The smoothness will vary a lot. The tiny 0.3 millimeters are the least smooth tips with their needly points. 0.4 millimeters is progressively smoother and 0.5 millimeter is in the realm of what I'd call a pleasant writer, good for long sessions. So if you're using these for lecture notes, Get all 0.5 millimeter refills, that's what I recommend, so you can enjoy the writing experience. I do not recommend these for high precision works, because there's just a bit of wiggle in each tip. That makes sense design-wise, it would be nearly impossible to engineer a uh, multi-refill pen like this that didn't do that. But it does mean that for artistic works in ink, it will be more reassuring to use fixed pens that have no give in the points whatsoever. Fine liners are often a better choice for that sort of artwork. Now back to the Kalito. Here are some more examples of it in action. Here is some fast note taking. and some drawing. And calligraphy. So the Kalido is just a multicolor pen and multicolor pens have been around forever. What makes these different is the big variety of styles and colors of this pen, which can convey anything from a playful to a professional image, but also the even bigger variety of ink colors multiplied by the three possible widths means that they are totally customizable and fun to mix and match. 
In addition, the ink simply works. It's reliable. It doesn't skip or feel dry. Other than the minor setbacks I mentioned, these are wonderful for people like me who use a planner or need different colors to signify different tasks. That's the Pilot Kalido. It's a reliable, affordable, and addictive multicolor pen. Thanks for watching.